In this video, we will discuss about topic 3, Momentum and Impulse. At the end of this topic, students should be able to define momentum and impulse and state the principle of conservation of linear momentum. 3.1 Momentum and Impulse So, let's assume A car speed towards you out control at a velocity 27 meter per second. Can you stop it by standing in front of it with your hand? We do not want to try to stop a moving car by holding out your hand. It's too big and it's moving way too fast. We cannot stop the car because it has too much momentum. Momentum measure how hard it is to stop a moving object. Momentum with vector P is defined as products of mass and velocity. And we can write down the equation for momentum P equal to mv whereby m is a mass of the object, v is a velocity of the object. Momentum is a vector quantity that have the same direction as the velocity. So you must be consider the sign of the velocity. SI unit of momentum is Newton second or kilogram meter per second. Now look at simple example 1. A slow moving object with the large object has a large momentum because it is more messy thus give more momentum second figure a fast moving but small object also has a large momentum Okay, next proceed for a second example. If a ping pong ball and a bowling ball have a same velocity, so the bowling ball has the greater momentum because it more massive than ping pong ball. Next example, example 3. How to calculate the momentum? A jack with a mass of 20,000 kg departs from its home airbase with a velocity of 400 meter per second due to the east. What is the jack's momentum? By using the equation, momentum P equal to mv, you just substitute the value for m, mass of the jack, 21,000 multiplied by velocity of the jet 400 you can get 8.4 times 10 to power of 6 kg meter per second the direction of the momentum refer to velocity of the jet that means move to the east Now, momentum is vector which is equal to products of mass and velocity. But, how is momentum related to impulse? Look at this figure. It will have a change of momentum when a force acts on, a, on an object for a short amount of time. So, we can conclude that impulse is a measure how much the force changes the momentum of an object impulse with vector j is defined as the products of force f and the time interval delta t or you can write down the equation for impulse vector j equal to f delta t whereby f represent as a force acting on the object delta t means the change of time taken that's mean t final minus t inertia 
SI unit for impulse is newton second or kilogram meter per second. Impulse is also vector quantity, which is the direction of the impulse, same direction with the force. Force exists only on a very short time during collision, you can call as impulsive force. Impulse also can analyze from the graph F against T. That's mean equal to the shaded area. The relationship between impulse and momentum is summarized in the impulse momentum theorem. It states that the impulse the J can be equal to the change of momentum or you can write down as F delta T equal P final minus P initial or you can write down as MV minus MU now let's try to calculate the impulsive force for each component Fx and also Fy of the ball. Okay, good luck to do this question.